Adrian, the GCX linear, you can see it's a gear uh, grinding machine, but maybe you can tell us a little bit more than that. Yeah, so um, the reason it came about is um, the introduction or the increase in use in skiving cutters. Um, the technology with, uh, or the requirement for precision gears is becoming more and more. The market is set to grow. There's no question, uh, high precision gears, AAA quality, um, an anchor saw a market, um, and yeah, hence the GCX was born. Yeah, so what, you know, what sets us apart in the field? What would you say are the unique selling points of this machine? Uh, software is key. Uh, it's got mm -hmm. the best software on the market, for sure. We work in partnership with ESCO. Um, the two combined produces um, programs that are to a standard that should be required for a high accuracy machine. Yeah, the things, obviously, you're probably best known for making end mills and drills, aren't you, your machines? But it's fair to see the, the accuracy you need on the gears far exceeds what it does on some of the other tools that are made on your machines. Yeah. So taking that off and to a CMM machine, that's going to be a problem. How, how do you overcome that? Yeah, so again, first to market at Emo, and um, it's something that we've incorporated is uh, actually measuring the tooling process. Um, and we do that with uh, a, a probe and it scans the, uh, scans the gear as it's being um, mm. measured. And should the gear be out of size, I presume it goes back in and rewinds it to exactly. size. It keeps yeah. going until you get to size. Com compensates it and, and, and carries on. So and you mentioned the gear markets growing, and I think you're correct. How about the remanufacturing of gears? You know, regrinding gears. Yeah, I mean, this this, this machine will either regrind and produce, uh, predominantly for manufacturing, but it also can regrind as well. Mm -hmm. And again, we talk about accuracy, and, and we can't talk about accuracy enough on a gear grinding machine. You know, how do we how do we control this the, the grinding you know technology in terms of the temperature of the spindles yeah. and things like this? Well, I mean, the larger the diameter, the longer it takes to grind, obviously. But in order to maintain your accuracy, you need to have something that keeps that temperature. And you're right. So we actually use the uh, what we call MTC, which is motor to temperature control. It means that the machine can get to warm up uh, quicker, which means you can get grinding faster, and it means that it stays at a constant temperature throughout the cycle.